This episode is about doing the game Flames of War. And it just kind of, um, I'm just gonna go into a little bit about how each unit would look like from the books. A lot of you already play the game. A lot of you already know the rules. But this just shows you a little bit about how to, um, how the units would look like from the book. Basically, that's about it. I'm not really gonna play a game. It's just, just information just to show you what it would look like, give you an idea of what kind of platoon you wanna make. This is the German Heavy Armored Company. It's actually from the company. This is just a platoon of uh, the tanks. The uh, Tiger always comes with a Panzer. It says 3N, so a Panzer 3N will accompany a Tiger. So I have one of each over here. And then the Command Tank is just a Tiger 1E. And this is uh, for the platoon of heavy armor. They look really tough and they look scary. I, uh, if I was in a Sherman tank, I would be kind of worried. It says 1942 Chevalier Panzer Platoon. Here's your um, Royal Horse Artillery Battery. You have your 25 pounders. You have a uh, observer team. And of course your staff team's back here. And you have a rifle uh, team. So this is your squad. I uh, put a it's a, uh, I think it's a hundred, it's a hundred and five millimeter U.S. gun because I couldn't find my other 25 pounder, but um, it, it works out for this one. <laughs> Now, when you uh, fire these guns, you need um, a template, and that's what it looks like. Here's your anti-tank platoon. Um, you got your command. Um, so you can have either the um, the M10 or you can have the Hellcat. These are, um, you know, you can go either way. Uh, Obviously, if you're going to have the Hellcat, it's going to need the um, headquarters also. And they each come with a, uh, a little uh, soldier. So this, it's either, either one, either or. You can have that platoon or you can have this platoon. Okay, we got here a anti-tank platoon from the U.S. Armored Forces. This is your command back here. And it comes with a Jeep, just one of them. I think it's just an ordinary Jeep. You'd have to put five more points for the machine gun. Uh, here you have your, the M2 uh, half tracks. You got two of them for this uh, platoon. I added two bazookas, which cost um, a few extra points here, uh, 15 or whatever it was. So I added two bazookas. You don't have to have the bazookas with us. You have two anti-tank guns. Um, you could double this platoon, of course. You can make it a recon platoon, which is basically without the guns. That would be these guys. That's your recon. So that's um, pretty much what it would be. And it's these guns look small, but you know they're pretty powerful. They can take out uh, a tiger from the side. Yeah, they look. Um, that's what it would look like. So you got your command. Uh, I only put the two guns. You can double it up if you want to. Um, and each one has a tractor to go with it. And of course, they're somewhat movable. This one is not so movable. I, you know, it's the way you build the models. Here you have a uh, platoon of tankettes. It's the TKS Polish. It's Polish. Uh, uh, it could be a scout platoon too. It says reconnaissance tank platoon. So these these guys do reconnaissance. 
and you have the one um, up front is the command and the other four are just the, the, the tank at sections there's two of them and I believe the the larger gun is the 20 millimeter and then you have machine guns on the others um, anyways this is an Italian they're actually they're painted as German but it's an Italian machine gun platoon. Um, the two front ones are the command headquarter um, section, and then you have a motorcycle in the back, the two. Um, you can have as many as, what is this, two, four, six, eight. You can have eight motorcycles, plus you can have the two command motorcycles in the front. So it would be Italian, so they have the um, 37M heavy machine gun. Um, this is painted as the German. Still kind of the same, anyway. This is your Reich Grenadier Heavy Artillery Battery. It's uh, the German. Um, these are uh, both, these are the FH-18. They're, uh, what are they, 150? I think they're 150. Yeah, 150 uh, millimeter. Comes with, uh, you can add four trucks. So I added the four trucks. Comes with two observers um, for each two guns. There's one there. And there's the other one here. Um, you also get the radio truck if you want. I think it's five points more. Your staff team and a rifle team. And that's your your whole platoon there for your artillery. That's um, it's pretty high cost. You're looking at um, 240 points for this. Uh, plus, you know, you add the trucks, the radio trucks. This is a French platoon. It's called the Combat Car Platoon. I didn't have another one of those. Um, what are they? Uh, they're called the Pinard P16s. So I just added the British uh, armored car. Basically, there'd be the three of those uh, Pinards. And then you also add three Hotchkiss H-35s. And this is your your, your platoon. Um, it's a recon it can be a reconnaissance platoon also. And this is from uh, 1939, I believe. So it's um, when the first when war first broke out, the French had these these little tanks. They, of course, they weren't much bigger than a truck. Soviet rocket mortar battalion. Uh, you got um, you can have up to eight of the launchers. Um, I only have two. They they have groups of uh, two each, so it'd be like four platoons of them. And then I have the commands over here. So we got the command, um, which basically is just a um, an observer team, a rifle team, and the um, the actual command um, model itself and this is the observers here got them a little far away but so that's what it consists of for the uh, Soviets um, they can they can actually do pretty pretty bad damage on vehicles and especially infantry but um, it's it's useful I mean I would prefer to have two more of the rocket launchers. So these are the books, the six that um, those, all those units come from. Each one has a year on the book. So, you know, you play per year. And then here's the early war. And I also have all these books. It seems like I have every uh, combat uh, theater they had here during World War II. Even the mid-war monsters. Some pretty interesting vehicles in there.